Hi everyone, our subject today is abdominal masses in pediatrics. A palpable lesion or fullness in the abdominal cavity which may or may not be related to the abdominal viscera. Majority are non-surgical in nature, many are associated with constipation. Approximately 57% are due to organomegaly. History Weight loss may be in malignancy or inflammatory bowel disease. Fever may be in infection or malignancy. Jaundice may be in hepatobiliary or hematological disease. Hematuria or dysuria may be in renal disease. Vomiting, bilious vomiting or early satiety may be in intestinal obstruction. Abdominal pain may be in appendicitis, intussusception, or intestinal obstruction. Frequency and quality of bowel movement may be in constipation, intussusception, or compression of the bowel by mass. Bleeding or bruising may be a liver disease or coagulopathy. Pallor or weakness may be in anemia or blood loss. History of abdominal trauma may be in pancreatic pseudocyst or duodenal hematoma. Sexual activity may be in pregnancy. Age of the patient. In a unit, the most common origin of abdominal masses are genitourinary, cystic kidney disease, and hydronephrosis. In adolescent girls, ovarian disorder, hematocolbus, and pregnancy. Physical examination, finding general appearance, ill appearance or cachexic patient point to infection or malignancy, finding characteristics of the mass, mobility, tenderness, firmness, smoothness, and irregularity of the surface of the mass, hard and immobile mass may be in tumor, Location of the mass, the location will aid in the determining which organ is most likely affected. In females with a lower abdominal mass, an assessment should be made to rule out an imperforated hymen. Finding extension of the mass across the midline or into the pelvis, may be tumor, hepatomegaly, or splenomegaly. Finding percussion of the mass, Dullness indicate a solid mass, tympani indicate a hollow organ. Finding shifting dullness, fluid wave, in ascites, abdominal distension due to ascites must be distinguished from abdominal distension due to a mass. Ascites generally causes bulging flank and dullness to percussion in the flank. The fluid shift with movement of the patient and causes a percussion wave or shifting dullness. Skin exam. Bruising and petechiae may occur with coagulopathy related to liver disease and malignant infiltration of the bone marrow. Cafeolate spots are associated with the neurofibroma. Finding lymphadenopathy or lymphadenitis may be in malignancy or infection. Finding peritoneal signs may be in appendicitis, bowel obstruction or perforation, indication for urgent surgical consultation. Finding rectal bleeding may be in intestinal inflammation, polyps or other bleeding lesion. After performing history and physical examination, how to approach to the child with abdominal mass, if it is hepatomegaly or splenomegaly present, so see the previous lecture. If, uh, if it is not, is the patient in unit? If it is yes, perform abdominal ultrasound. Differential diagnosis may include congenital hydronephrosis, cystic kidney disease, infantile polycystic kidney disease, neurogenic bladder, renal vein thrombosis, collecting system duplication, intestinal duplication, sacrococcygeal teratoma, adrenal hemorrhage, neuroblastoma, mesoblastic nephroma, mesentric, omental cyst, colidocal cyst, pancreatic cyst, 
hematoma, adrenal, hepatic, splenic, hepatoblastoma, muconium ileus, megacolon, obstruction, and anterior myelomeningocele. If the patient not a neonate, perform urine HCG in adolescent female, imaging KUB, ultrasound, CT, MRI, consider complete blood count, liver function test, blood urea, nitrogen, creatinine, LDH, alkaline phosphatase, electrolyte, serum amylase, lipase, urine analysis, ESR, C-reactive protein. Differential diagnosis may include pregnancy, ovarian cyst or neoplasm, tubo ovarian abscess, appendiceal abscess, hematocolbus, hydrometrocolbus, uterine neoplasm, hepatic lesion, Wilmes tumor, adrenal cortical neoplasms, pancreatic mass, cyst, neuroblastoma, hydronephrosis, rhabdomyosarcoma, urinary retention, teratoma, bizarre intestinal tumor, mesenteric cyst, or mental cyst, lymphangioma, colidocal cyst, constipation, inflammatory bowel disease, retroperitoneal hematoma, and lymphoma. Top tips. Abdominal ultrasound is a safe, non-invasive method for determining whether a mass is cystic or solid. It is the preferred diagnostic test in the unit and it's also appropriate in older children. Hydronephrosis is the most common cause of an abdominal mass in the neonate. It is due to obstruction of the urinary outflow tract. In male, infant, posterior urethral valve are the most common cause of hydronephrosis. In infants, a history of polycythemia, dehydration, diabetic mother, asphyxia, sepsis, or coagulopathy are risk factors for renal vein thrombosis. Hematuria, hypertension, and thrombocytopenia are often present. Most common malignant abdominal tumor by age, infant, neuroblastoma, and Wilms tumor, children, Wilms tumor, sarcoma, and germ cell tumor, children above 10 years of age, sarcoma, germ cell tumor, and abdominal lymphoma. Ovarian lesion may appear as a mass or pain due to torsion, adhesion, hemorrhage, or rupture. Some ovarian tumors occur as precocious puberty owing to the production of estrogens. The hepatic masses, the etiology of the hepatic mass include tumors, hemangioma, cysts and abscesses, adenoma, focal nodular hyperplasia and hamartoma can occur as solitary lesion. Malignant hepatic tumors include hepatoblastoma and hepatocellular carcinoma. Thank you for your listening.